Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this look right here. It's kind of a blue smoky eye. Um, I have not filmed in like two months. Um, the reason for that is because I used to film, like I work a regular job and I would film on my day off. Well, lately I have been working two jobs making the transition between the two so when I was off from my first job I was working at my second job so I never had any time to film but now I have officially transitioned and I am back to one job so today I am finally back to film and I am so happy if you were wondering where I went that's where I went but I am back now and I was super excited to film this today so if you like this look and want to see how I got it please keep watching taking the Urban Decay Vice palette I'm first going to take the shade laced it's just kind of a flesh tone shade in a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that back and forth in the crease as a transition shade and then I'm taking the color chaos and I'm using a MAC 217. It's just a tapered fluffy brush and I'm just gonna pack that onto the outer corner and then start blending it into the crease lightly. And then you'll see I go in with a bigger fluffy brush and blend it a little more. And then I'll go back in and pack on a little more color and blend it out a little more, just back and forth with packing and blending until I have my desired look. And then taking this darker blue shade from Wet n Wild and that same brush, I'm just going to do the same thing. Pack it on the outer corner, blend it into the crease, pack it a little bit more, blend it a little bit more. It's just a back and forth, very repetitive process. So just keep packing and blending until you achieve your desired look. And then I am taking the shade Black Market from the Vice Palette and a much smaller fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put that on the very, very outer corner of my eye just to add a little bit of depth and dimension. And then I'll go in with the bigger fluffy brush and just lightly blend it out. And then here I'm looking at my screen to make sure I'm not blind you guys and you can see what I'm holding but this is an oldie but a goodie it is the vanilla pigment from Mac I've had this for years and I just never use it because loose pigments and glitters terrify me because I will knock it over but I'm just applying this to the inner half of my lid and then lightly blending the two together <laughs> I'm going to do my liner off camera this is the NYX matte liquid liner and I'm just going to make myself a wing and then once your wing is on you can kind of see better what the final look is going to be so you can go in and add a little bit more blue a little more black back and forth until you achieve your desired look it's really all about how you want it to look it's just a little bit easier to tell once the liner is on Moving on to the face, I am priming with the Maybelline Baby Skin, and I'm mostly just putting this in the center of my face where I have larger pores. And then for foundation, I am using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and some of these Cover Effects drops. I got these in, I think it's Sephora purchase, it was a sample, and they're a little bit dark for me, so I'm just mixing them in with a lighter foundation, mixing it on the back of my hand and dotting it all over my face, and then I'm going to blend it in with a damp beauty blender. Moving on to concealer, this is the Maybelline Master Conceal, and I'm just going to apply this everywhere I normally conceal and highlight in the triangle shape under my eyes, and then you'll see I go really close along the edge of my liner just to clean it up and make it nice and sharp, and then I will apply it to the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, 
the top of my lip, the center of my chin, and also a little bit underneath my contour just because I had some extra left on my brush. And then another sample from a Sephora purchase that is way too dark for me is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. So I'm just going to use this as like a bronzer contour situation. And then I'm going to go in and blend everything out again with my beauty blender. concealer I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just applying that again with my beauty blender and for right now I'm just gonna do under my eyes and the center of my face I'm not gonna do underneath my contour yet because I'm gonna go in with the powder bronzer and contour first and I'll use that to clean it up later <music> To set that darker foundation, I'm using the Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula. I got this off a recommendation from Kathleen Lights, and so far I'm liking it. It smells really good. It kind of smells like a tropical, there's my hair getting in the way, um, kind of like a tropical, I don't know, vacation. Um, I'm just going to kind of bronze that all over my face and down my neck a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my contour and I'm using an oldie but a goodie, the Hoola bronzer from Benefit and the little brush that it came with. And I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring on my cheeks and my nose and a little bit under my lip. <laughs> And then going back with that translucent powder, I'm just going to set that concealer underneath my contour and also sharpen it a little bit. And then once that powder sits for a couple minutes, I'm just going to go in and brush it all away. It is time for blush and I'm using this one from ColourPop in the shade Between the Sheets and it's just kind of an everyday nice flush of color type of blush. Then it is time to highlight and I'm using the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter and I'm just going to put that on the tops of my cheeks and also kind of the C shape around my brow to like the higher points of my forehead and then whatever's left on the brush I'm just dusting across my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. I will go back in and put a little bit more highlighter later. And then I'm going to move back to the eyes and I'm taking a pencil brush and those two blue shades and I'm just going to smudge that along my lower lash line most of the way but not quite all of the way in. And then a flat definer brush, I'm taking the black and pressing that up against my lashes and then I will go back in with that blending brush and just kind of blend it out a little bit. Then taking this ColourPop liner in Swerve, it's just the black, I'm going to do my waterline and tight line. Again, not taking it all the way in, just about to where that shadow stops. Kind of gives the eyes a more elongated almondy shape. 
Then taking the lightest shade in the Vice palette called Anonymous, I'm just going to dust that onto my brow bone as a highlight. And then I am applying some lashes. These are the Posh Wispies. And also I applied some mascara. And then going back in with that MAC Vanilla Pigment, I'm just going to put that on my inner corners and slightly drag it down to that beginning part of my lower lash line where there isn't any blue. And then it is on to lips, and I am lining with Sore from MAC. And then for lipstick, I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick, and this is in the shade Soft Spoken. And as you can see, it's basically the same exact color as my lip liner. So then for a little dimension, I'm taking the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Istanbul, and I'm just going to apply that to the center of my lips for a little bit of highlight. <music> taking a small little detail brush and some more champagne pop, I'm just going to apply that to my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and down the bridge. I decided I need a little bit more color on my cheeks so I'm going back in with that ColourPop blush and just adding a little bit more and then I thought while I'm at it why not add some more highlights so I'm just going back in with Champagne Pop and just kind of intensifying where I put the highlight earlier And after that, this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I missed filming so much. I can't wait to get back into doing it more often. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.